number 26 live. I got a great view this morning. And the lesson is the following. It's what is the cost of you not taking action? What does that cost? And I heard this on a podcast the other day. And I've, I've, I've always thought about this myself, but it just hit me really hard. And uh, I was talking to a couple, a couple of people recently who decided not to invest in my program. And uh, what seemed like purely financial reasons, right? And, and I've been there. I've been backed into a corner where I had to make a decision that day. Do I get gas? Do I get food? But even in that place, I doubled down on myself and I invested in myself. So I knew I couldn't go it alone. If, if what I had done to that point alone got me to that place, then doing the same thing was complete insanity, aka the Einstein quote. You know what I mean? So I knew if I doubled down on myself in that situation and put myself literally against the wall in such a real and raw way, I know inside the story that I tell myself, when shit's going down, I prevail. When the workout gets tough and everybody starts quitting, I push harder. That's my story, that's, that's, that's my MO. That's like deeply in here. So I knew at that moment when I invested in myself, large sums of money, when I didn't have it, that doing that gave me certainty. Doing that, it wasn't a scarcity thing either. It wasn't, it wasn't that I was so backed against the wall that you know, I was, I was like running around with like, like a chicken with no head. I was just certain because I put myself first and I invested in myself first despite the circumstances. So the lesson for you, and I'll keep this right now in the context of fitness, but it applies to every area of your life, is what is the cost of you not taking action? What is the cost of you staying the same? What is the cost and what is the price you're gonna pay to wake up one year from now in the same exact place? Because here's what happens. And I'll keep it relative to my example. Usually when people don't invest in, in my program, they end up not investing in any program. They do program hopping, they look at all the coaches, they get a lot of free shit, a lot of uh, sales calls, they go through all this stuff, but they don't actually, they don't, they don't put their money down. They don't put their energy down. They don't put their commitment down. And that's a lack of commitment. That's a lack of moving forward. And the funny thing is one year later, guess what? Same spot, same place, same headspace, still trying to make a decision. So when you think about it in terms of fitness, like what is the price? What is the price of the way you're showing up in your body in regards to your physical health? Like what are the costs associated with that medically? What are they gonna be in the future when you're just worse and worse? What is the cost of your lack of energy and enthusiasm and vitality when it comes to your business? That's real money. What is the cost of your body being in the shape that it's in in regards to your relationship? Losing attraction, losing confidence, losing your, your, the way you walk into a room for a negotiation, losing certainty with employees, Losing, losing, losing enthusiasm with your career. And then lastly, what is the cost of your body and the shape that it's in in regards to your connection to yourself? Because here's the deal, if you can't appreciate you, if you can't appreciate this, this temple that you've been given, you're very tough to take care of, of other people. It's, 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 a whole, it's a whole game of, you know, take care of me first on the airplane. Take care of you first so you can take care of everybody else. So I want to share this lesson with you guys today. If you have any comments, just post them below. As always, resist average, and I'll see you guys on the other side.